So I'm gonna be forgiven one day. No. Oh, are you forgiven 2,000 years ago, bro? I gotta cross all day. Ten seconds, bro. Holy Spirit, she's invited you into her life. I pray right now you touch her. Holy Spirit, I pray right now you touch her. Holy Spirit, she's invited you into her life. I pray right now you touch her. That was him. Come on out. No. Come on out. I got her brother too. I got them all. They're all alone. I have nobody. Make sure she has nobody either. I want to speak to that seducing spirit right now. Yeah, there you are. You've not allowed her to be the woman of God she's called to be. And I saw the prophetic mantle that is upon her life. I saw the evangelistic mantle that is upon her life. You cannot stop her from winning souls. I pray you bring comfort to that trauma that she received when she was young. The Holy Spirit has spoke to me. You must leave, I've exposed you. Come out of her life. I break your power. Anybody have a car on my Welcome to uh, Daytona Beach vlog number two. Now it's off season here in Daytona Beach, but there's a tire being pumped right here on the right side. That's what you guys see. But we're about to have some good encounters. I just, we're gonna do something. It's gonna be fun. Keegan, you're a man. In Amen. Jesus name, Amen. subscribe. Like, share, do all the good stuff. You guys know what's up. Come on. Let's keep it going, baby. Ah! Me and Isaiah are going to do the, that today. This is round two. That's what we're going to do today, right there. See that? Yeah, boy. <laughs> 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 Next year, I'm planning on planning the headquarters, right? I haven't got like a green light on like exactly where. No, okay. Not yet, but Not it'll yet. be somewhere down the corridor. Okay. Okay. Father, we thank you right now for bringing us here tonight. Lord Jesus Christ, we know that the angels have already been dispatched. They prepare the hearts of the people. So Lord Jesus, we're just walking in and we're saying yes to whatever you want to do. We pray that the supernatural power of God will be present. Lord, we pray all nine gifts of the Holy Spirit to be in operation. Let us see deliverance. Let us see healing. Let us see salvation. Let us see miracles, Lord, and speak to us about people's lives. We want to see people encounter you. That's why we are here. So Lord Jesus Christ, we give you all the glory all the honor and all the praise in Jesus name and the saints say amen amen, amen. All right. Hallelujah. <laughs> anything I can pray for you for me uh, no, no, really. you believe in Jesus yeah he lives in your heart yes yeah is there are you so like healing family finances we could pray for anything man uh, I know I'm fine sure yeah no little blessing where are you from Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome, man. Look, Jesus, I think it's Te Amo Mucho. Yes. He loves you very much, man. Can I say something real quick? Puedo orar por usted, General. ¿Cómo se llama? Miguel. Miguel. Mm -hmm. Miguel, I feel this on my heart, though. So I don't know what your job situation is right now. But I want to let you know, I feel like the Lord has you in a, a season where things are transitioning right now. And I can see like heaviness has been on you. And I want to encourage you that the Lord is going to do something where he's going to transition you into the job that you need so that you can have the breakthrough that you need. I was really feeling like there was something with the job, something with in that area. Does that make sense to you? Bear witness to you uh, at all? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. yeah, I feel like there's something greater. You can't get comfortable. I feel like the Lord wants to take you to something greater. And he does that because he's a good father, you know? Wendy, good, good God, right? Yeah. So he loves you a lot, man, and I just wanted to tell you that. And he's pursuing you, and he's got a big plan for you, all right? He loves everybody. Hey, he, knows, he, he knows us all. He knows you. He created you. Every hair on your head, he knows. Yeah. See, even though we don't believe in him, he still believes in us. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, it yeah. Does, and, you know, we all make mistakes, right? We all, we all fall short. And it makes us feel unworthy. But that's why God paid a price for us through Jesus Christ to help us, man, because we're all sinners, right? We all fall short. But now what Jesus has done is he paid the price on the cross, and now we're winners, man, when we accept his love. So if you accept Jesus in your heart and you ask him for forgiveness of sins, he becomes your bestest friend, man. Yeah, that's true. Do you have a relationship with God? Well, yeah. Not a big relationship? Not a big relationship, but... He wants one with you? Yeah. Do you want to say that prayer with me? and ask the Lord to secure that relationship, man. He's a big dad, man. He loves his boy. Yeah. Listen, it's like this, right? If you die today, let's just say, do you know that you'll be in heaven? Yeah, I you, feel that. You have enough faith? Yes. That if you were to die now, you'd be with Jesus in heaven? Well, I don't know me about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
But that's why you need that security, right? Lord, forgive me of my sins. Save me from my sins. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And then let him do the rest, man. You want to pray that? No, no, because I am a carry. You in a hurry? Yeah. Well, look, I'm going to pray for you anyway. Uh -huh. Lord, I thank you for his life. I pray, Lord, that he will know that you, you want him really bad. And I pray he'll open his heart big. Abre la corazón. So that, Lord Jesus, he can be saved. Can you say, Jesus, save me? Jesus, save me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All it takes is a seed. It, it'll birth into a big tree, my man. Love you much, okay. man. God bless you. Okay. Amen. 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 Nice Amen. to meet you. Dios te bendiga. Amen. Amen. There's a little bit of a language barrier there, but I, it was good. I think I was, I think I was hitting some things, man. But did you see what I did? I got him to say, Jesus, save me. All who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. So regardless of what he believes in this moment, the fact that he said, Jesus saved me is enough for a seed to go in his heart and to sprout later. So it is what it is, guys. Jesus saves. And all we have to do is confess it with our mouth. A little mustard seed of faith grows into big things. Because some people will watch this and they'll be like, oh, that wasn't enough. Did you say this? Did you say that? But the truth of the matter is, it's a seed that grows later. So this moment could have saved him from an eternity in hell, you know? Pretty wild. Crazy encounter inside, inside the Pizza King. What happened? So we were, I, I felt this pain in my stomach and I'm looking around like, Lord, who is this? And it was the lady over there, the, the waitress at the Pizza King, right? I walk up inside, I just started to encourage her. I was like, I saw her like in a ditch and she kept trying to climb up. She kept falling down over and over again. She starts crying, you know. Anyways, we go to pray. Then Nat here gets a vision. Tell them about the vision that you saw. I saw by the spirit, like a baby boy, like in her arms and he had been like taken away. But like when he was taken away, like he was put in the arms of the father. So he was literally like with father God, like God was taking care of him. And God told me that she had lost a son. And when I asked her about it, she said she lost five. She's had five miscarriages, but she wants to have a baby. And then we pray again over her and we break off soul ties. We break off generational curses of addiction of abortion, all this stuff. And we bless her. She says that she felt complete peace over her body. She had no more pain in her body at all. She felt goosebumps all over and she felt super great. Awesome. It was amazing. I, I was like low key crying a little bit. We just low key crying. We just loved we just loved on her. We just told her how much it, like she she went from like so down and depressed to like smiling and so happy. It was also, amazing. Keegan told her to uh, tell her boyfriend to get lost. In Jesus' name, <laughs> he did. I told her because I saw the bad. It was that, that was, was part abusive. of. Yeah, he was abusing she said her. That. But that was the thing. It was the relationships that kept having her fall back down into the into wow. the sin. But yeah, so yeah, she said she's breaking up with her boyfriend. Amen. <laughs> she's somebody, break up with her boyfriend. hearing this needs to break up with their boyfriend. Yeah, in, in Jesus', Jesus name. You've been asking name. for a sign. Here's your sign. Here's your sign. You Come, on. Come on, you never know. You never know what'll happen. I told them obedience is greater than sacrifice. Be obedient to the Lord. If he tells you to break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend, do it. I don't think I could walk over that. I don't know. I don't, I don't think my legs work. He's all right, man. He ain't scared no more. I don't. Eventually, he's going to jump out of the plane with me. Tell him what happened last time. I blacked out last time he did the slingshot. Like, yeah, at least for a second, like a millisecond. Eyes, he was like, man of God, I think the earth is flat. Yeah. Was, <laughs> his eyes in the last bro, video. Go bro. watch the last Daytona vlog. Bro, his eyes roll in the back of his head. He's like... This is crazy. I was gone for a second. Oh. Hey! Hey, bro, this man is different. Hey! You are different. You are different. Hey! You are different. By the spirit, I see you and the studio. <laughs> Insert clip here. <laughs> Insert clip here. What does that sound like on the drum? What is that supposed to sound? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Hi-hat? Okay. I said, can I pray for you? He's hey, like, pull out a 20, bro. No, you I'm got Jewish. You pull out a toy, oh, yeah. pray That pray happened in day. Ireland, remember? Uh -huh. That lady in Ireland? She was doing that. She was like, like, we're gonna do it. I'll give you five. Yeah. Give you five. Yeah. Like, look, five yeah. dollars. You don't mind being on film, do you? Oh, uh, no, I don't mind. You straight? Yeah. Okay, we got a YouTube channel. That's why I was wondering. So, yeah. Where we just walk up to people, talk to people about Jesus, see if their reaction will be and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's funny. I don't know. I don't know if you have anybody in your family, but it was weird. I was like, 
Do you have somebody that's in the hospital right now that you care about? Uh, not anymore recently, yeah. Yeah, I was seeing like a, it was a female and like sick. Uh, not, a, not a female, it was a male. It was a male? Yeah, yeah somebody was important to you that was in the hospital. I was seeing kind of like the stomach area. No, no. no. Uh, it was on uh, the foot. I had surgery on the foot. You did? No, no, no. My my uncle surgery yeah. on his foot, yeah. Was there, any, was there anybody, because usually when the Lord starts showing me that in a word of knowledge, uh -huh. if we really think deep, that, then there's a, there's a little bit of a significance to that. Was there somebody that was really dear to you that maybe, uh, I'm trying not to make it sound very surface, maybe a woman figure that was older mm -hmm. that passed away in the hospital that was very significant to you? Uh, not, a, not a woman, no. No? Not at all. I'm off on this one. <laughs> I'm hitting yeah. something. I'm yeah. hitting something. I just yeah. don't know where it's at yet. Yeah. Do you know if she has anyone in the hospital or knew someone in the hospital recently? Uh, she, she, she has a... a uh, a friend of hers in the hospital, but you know that's that's her business. That ain't for me. See, like, this too. is what I'm saying, though. I'm I'm picking up in the spirit something. That's why I'm like, okay, I know it could be on that end. You know, because I don't know if you know any much about the prophetic. You know much about the prophetic? Uh, not, not too much. So sometimes if we're in the realm of the spirit, right, mm -hmm. and you got two people close, I could be getting something from her, but I'm pointing it in your direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it could be in her direction. That's what I'm kind of. That's okay, okay. so I was asking here. Yeah, it's it's how the it's it's how the prophetic works. You know what a prophet is, right? Prophet. Yeah. Is but, it cool? Is it cool we ask her? No, he's gonna ask her in just a second. Oh, Keegan's gonna ask her. Yeah. Okay. If it's cool with him. If it's cool, that's, is that cool? If she's yeah. open. No, we won't force yeah. nothing down nobody's throat. Exactly. And that's what I'm big on. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't force something on you. So I wouldn't even force it on you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, you can't anyway. force nobody into anything. You got to see if they're welcome and open to it. That's why it says be fisher of men, because you got to see if they take the bite. Uh -huh. Are you okay with being recorded? Is that okay? Yeah. Is there like anybody on on your side of the family, like like an older woman who's maybe like in the hospital? Or a female a female friend dear to you that's in the hospital right now? Yeah. Because yeah. I was speaking to him and I was getting like a huh? From her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sitting here and I saw. Yeah, I saw a picture of, uh, it was like a, a woman in the hospital, you know, I, I thought it might have been older. It was like something in the stomach area or something of that nature, and she was in the hospital dealing with a lot of pain. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's for probably not the best reasons, right? Exactly. So, probably, okay. I'm going to stop there. Just know that I, I got an idea. So we can pray, I believe we can pray for her, and I believe the Lord will completely shift that moment so that her life can be for a long time, you know? Am I, am I a little bit in the right area? Yeah, no, that's pretty accurate. Pretty accurate? Yeah, I see that she's been, she was very disappointed and stuff, you know? Going through a lot. So let me, can I pray for her? Okay, is it okay if I take your hand and pray? Sure. What's your name? Mine, Kylie. Tylee. Kylie. 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 Is it okay to tell her name or no? Yeah, Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Father, we thank you for Mackenzie. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray like every spirit of death any spirit that was trying to take her out will be removed from her life. And she'll know that Jesus loves her. And right now, Lord, I even pray that you'll send an angel, a messenger to her, to let her know how much she's cared for and how much value she is. Because I can even see from even being young, Lord, she's dealt with many disturbances and things like that. So I just pray the grace of Jesus upon Mackenzie. And I pray, Lord, right now that you'll bless her and she'll come to know the Father who loves her very much in Jesus' name. And every abandonment issue be broke too in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> she's, she's like, <laughs> make sure we get this on record. Amen. Are you a believer? Yeah, and, and God yeah. and Jesus. Yeah. yeah, of course. Oh, you're good to go. Yeah. We call it born again. You know what I mean? You've done the whole baptism thing. Yeah, Big things, it. relationship. God works the rest out. You know. So I like to ask people that. You know, biggest thing is to make sure people, when they leave this earth, they go to heaven. You know. That's the biggest thing. You sure, you ain't gonna be a pastor one day, man. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy you say that, but hey, I, I don't think so. But hey, whatever the God, whatever God takes me down my journey. You sure? Anybody ever told you that? I, I know how to. I got away with my words. You know, maybe I need to learn how to live the the words that I put out there too. You got a little motivational thing on you, man. Can I pray for you? Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Father, I thank you for my brother in Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for the mantle that's been put on him too. 
I see that many people have prayed for him, Lord, to go into this call and destiny. So, Lord, I pray that he'll break through into the call and destiny. And, Lord, thank you that he has a big heart and he cares for people. He has a discerning eye, too. He sees through nonsense. So, Father, I just thank you for that. And I pray, Father, that you'll just bless him, bless his family, and bless everything he touches because you love him so much. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen brother. Yeah. I'll let y'all enjoy y'all's night, man. Thank you. Thank y'all for the time. Thank you for the blessing. Yeah, real talk. God bless you guys. So when it comes to the prophetic, proximity sometimes matters. So I was picking up stuff. I saw somebody in the hospital. I couldn't tell if it was a younger or older person. I thought older person and I saw the stomach. So what I believe her friend did is probably did some addictive stuff and she had to maybe have her stomach pumped or something of that nature. That's kind of why I was feeling that, that spirit of death was after her. Um, I didn't want to go too deep because I didn't know how personal it was. But as you know, just know that sometimes you'll be around. It ain't that you're missing it. You're missing it. You're just picking it up. So we found out where that word of knowledge was for. Isaiah jumped in there, got it opened up, and we had a good encounter in Jesus' name. It's the love encounters. It's the seeds we plant that grow big, you know. You can't come with extreme force. But we, I like to make sure people know that they're born again. You know, when you say the word born again, you want to make sure that they say those things because that means they're a new creation. They need to know that. Could have probably went a little bit deeper on that, but it's okay. We did our job in Jesus' name. Is there anything I can pray for you for? Whether it's like, just pray for me. or just pray for you in general? Yeah. What's your name? Vester. My name is Isaiah. It's Vester. Vester. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Vester. Lord, I pray right now in Jesus' name. I, I don't know why, but I, is there a job that you're, 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 you're um, I don't know if you just applied or you're like waiting for this door to open for, for a job? Yeah, probably music. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I play you, music. So. You, you are? Right now, as I speak to you, that door is being opened. That when you go, you might even receive a call. The Lord sees you. I have no idea who you are, but I knew there was, there was an opportunity being opened to you that you've been waiting for. And I speak to you now as a man of God, that door will open for you, brother. Father, I thank you for Vesta. Bless him as he goes. That even as he leaves here, something will happen. And something will shift. That he knows that there's a living God and his name is Jesus. Lord, bless him. In okay. Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, brother. God bless you, man. Take the right <laughs> I bless you, man. Thank you, sir. No, thank you, man. Praise God. The second I put my hand on him, I saw like, like an application, almost like he went to apply for something. He was waiting for like a response. It was almost like a, a shock to him that I knew that. But God is good. I saw you walking down and I heard the Lord say that he has called you for business. I don't know if you do anything with business at all, but I saw him opening up the doors for business in your life to bring like crazy amounts of wealth because he knows you're going to sow it back into the kingdom. Okay. And I also saw something with like real estate, construction management, things like that. I don't know if that rings up. I, I don't know if that, if that's. I mean, that's what we did. Is that what you do? You know Praise God. I saw you building things, but not just building in the natural. I saw you building in the spirit, like, like in the spirit. Like you're literally building for God's kingdom. And I saw you being a builder. And it was just so crazy to see. And he said that he saw you guys like, he's bringing crazy amounts of financial blessing your guys' way because you're going to help other people. I even saw you guys partnering with the church or some kind of ministry and helping like building homes for people. And I even heard him say he's taking it global, not just here in the U.S. He's taking it global. And he says that you're going to be builders across the whole entire world. Did you say world. anything about Hawaii? In Hawaii? <laughs> hey, hey, I just came from Hawaii, actually. I just did a revival yeah. out there. No, so. I think it's great. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Praise no, God. it's great. Praise so, God. Well, look, we, we, we appreciate this. Amen. And, and we totally understand where where you yeah. are and yeah. appreciate your faith yeah, it is um, we don't believe in coincidence we're yeah. very spiritual and Amen. we go to Calvary Chapel in Chattanooga Tennessee no way and, yeah. praise the Lord so that's we, so awesome uh, so what's the movie that Calvary was the um, oh Jesus, the, the, the Jesus, Jesus Revolution, Revolution. Yeah. you guys go to Calvary Chapel yeah. so no that's way Jesus Revolution. oh that's it's so awesome, awesome. That'll give praise you the chills. Lord. So wow. I don't don't think it's coincidental that you stopped yeah. us. I don't think it's yeah. coincidental that you mentioned real estate and construction. Wow. That's what we're Praise heavily God. involved in. Oh my and, Lord, this uh, is crazy God. So, uh, so no, it's great. So Amen. let's let's yeah. pray. What's your name? My name's Clay. This is Clay? Cassie. Cassie, are you wanting to have another child? Because I saw in your yeah, I saw in your womb that there was another child coming. Uh, two more. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just, I just, I, 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 saw, I saw another child, I saw another, I, I saw another boy, that's why I was like looking around to see if you had another boy, I saw a boy, so, praise the Lord. I just want to pray blessing over you guys and over your whole family, so this is your parents, God bless you guys, oh my goodness, I heard, so you have been a woman of prayer your whole entire life, and I saw around you, the Lord wanted me to encourage you, I saw all these women around you, 
and he said, you are a spiritual mother to thousands of people. You don't even realize the, 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 the impact you've had on God's kingdom. So I want to encourage you with that. But that goes down to you guys. There's somebody in your family who did ministry, and it's a mantle that you guys are carrying down. No, what it is or something, but you guys are just so mantled to build up God's kingdom. So I'm going to pray for you guys. Right, cool. Quick. Father, Go ahead. thank you so much for playing casting for this amazing family, Lord. Father, I just pray right now, Holy Spirit, touch him in Jesus' name. Let him feel your love. Let him know you are a tangible God. You are a mighty working, powerful God. You're the way maker, Lord. So right now, Father, any door that the enemy has tried to shut in their lives to business opportunities, to provision, Lord. We say right now, Lord, hand them the keys. I see the Lord bringing keys to your life right now. Lord, give them the keys, Father, to open up the doors, Father to open up the doors to be builders for your kingdom, Father. I pray for the apostolic grace to fall in their life now, Lord, in Jesus' name. For Father, bless this family, Lord. I pray safe yes, travels Lord. over them, and I pray, Lord, that you touch them now, Holy Spirit. Let their lives never be the same after tonight, Lord. Lord, take them deeper into just into deeper waters, deeper than they've ever yes. gone before in relationship with you, Holy Spirit. Yes, we love you. We thank you for this yes, divine encounter tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Amen, amen. King. Love you, brother. Thank I'm going to hug you. God bless you guys. God yes. bless you. Good to meet you. God bless you. Boss man, random question. I know this is like, man, weird. I know this is weird. I know this is weird. We're out here praying for people, you know? I used to be a drug dealer, bro. I used to sell drugs, bro. Crazy. I used to do drugs crazy. And God encountered me, bro. I promise you he's real. I wouldn't be out here. I wouldn't be out here in the middle of the night with a mic in my hand talking to you about Jesus if he wasn't real, bro. I promise you. And there's a reason why he wanted to stop you, bro. It's not a coincidence. But te lo prometo. It's not a coincidence. He's real, bro. And I'm not asking nothing of you, bro. I'm not asking you to, to do nothing. I'm just asking if you, if you could get prayer for something. Because I know your mom has been praying for you. I know she has. And there's a reason why she has, bro. Because there's a calling on your life, bro, to affect, to affect many men, bro. Your age and younger, bro. I'm telling you. And I'm not even trying to intrude, but she's been through a lot. And there's a reason why y'all attracted to each other. Because y'all both come from brokenness. And there's a reason why y'all together. But God is trying to change, bro. He's trying to shift something in your life, bro. That's why you stop. That's why you stop. I'm not just talking. You know I'm not just talking. You know I'm not just some, some Bible thumping person just trying to throw the Bible at you. You know that's not what it is. It's deeper than that right now. Give the Lord 10 seconds, bro. Give him 10 seconds. Whatever y'all going through right now, can I pray for y'all real quick? Yeah, is that okay? Yeah? What's your name, bro? Redo. Redo. Redo? Yeah. Is that, where's, where's that name from? It's an Arabic name. Arabic name. Amen. Amen. What's your name? Kesialis. 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 So you speak Spanish? Yeah. There's a reason why I was speaking Spanish. Okay. What if I told you you were meant to lead many men? What if I told you you were a warrior? And I promise you it's for, it's for a reason that's, that's in you. Are, you. are you Muslim? Yeah. Muslim. Yeah? Do you practice it? Like, yeah. yeah? I'm just gonna pray that Jesus reveals himself because what stopped you in your tracks wasn't my words, believe it or not. It was the spirit of God gripping you. That's what stopped you. And as you go from here, I believe the Lord will continue to do that because you're not experiencing this with the Quran and you're not experiencing this with the Islam that you've been raised in. Because what this is, is not about a religion. It's not about our traditions, it's about the spirit of the living God. I'm gonna pray real quick, okay? I see your hand. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this leader. I thank you for this warrior. Right now in Jesus' name, I pray that you encounter him. Holy Spirit, I pray you touch him right now. Let me ask you a question. Are you open to the Holy Spirit touching you right now? No. No? Okay. Holy Spirit, I just pray that you would soften his heart and that you would encounter him in a mighty way. In Jesus' name. Bless him, Lord. Amen. Is it, is it okay if I pray for her? Is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. What's your name again? Say it again. Eselis. Eselis. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your daughter. And I thank you, Lord, that you have kept her to this point. Father, I thank you for revealing your, her value to her. In Jesus' name. I, 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 I was hearing value. I was hearing value. As if, like, you struggled with your own value. Your own, your own, your own self-value. And the Lord is telling you today, you're worth more than diamonds and rubies. That you're valuable. And that you should treat yourself as you are valuable. And that you should care for yourself as you are valuable. You aren't, you aren't second best and you're not just a throwaway. Okay? You're, are your parents Christian? Catholic. Catholic. So you've, you were raised in a religious home. Okay, what I'm speaking to you about isn't about religion. 
but Jesus is real, the Holy Spirit is real, but religion distorts the truth. Yeah. Okay. Are you open to the Holy Spirit touching you? Yes. yes? Say this. Say, Jesus, Jesus. if you are real, you are real. Encounter, me right now. encounter me right now. Change my life. Change my life. I want to know you. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray, okay? Heavenly Father, you heard your daughter. Holy Spirit, she's invited you into her life. I pray right now you touch her. That was him. That's him. You felt that. That's him. That's him. He's real. I didn't just push you. No, I know. I know. That's the Holy Spirit. We pray one more thing. You're open. You're open. Lord, give her everything she needs. Set her free from her yesterdays, from the abuse, from the attacks on her life and on her heart. Set her free right now in Jesus' name. I pray anything that's trying to grip your heart and make it cold, I say loose her right now in Jesus' name. Have your way in her life, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. You ever given your life to Jesus? Yeah. But I, I tend to like walk away a lot. Well, he doesn't walk away when we walk away. I feel like after today, you have some decisions to make. And I, and I believe that the Lord will honor you. He touched you today to show you that he loves you and he's still here. No matter how far you think you've gone. He's still here. He's still close. And this is him saying, Hija, te amo. God bless you, woman of God. There's some decisions we make down the road that we'll look back and be like, I'm glad I made that decision. I think you know what I'm talking about. Go in peace, woman of God. God bless you. God bless you, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. God bless you, guys. How are you doing? Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to see. How you doing? Hey. Have I met you guys? Yeah. Oh, I met you. Yeah. 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 I didn't know you knew John George. Yes. Yeah, yes. This is Duan. Yes. Duan, nice Duan. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Awesome, man. That's why I felt like to ask you. Yeah. I look, look, I know this. Can I ask you a personal question? You burn, you burn down? I used to sell, like, 20, 20, 2021. I was selling crazy, like pounds at a time that my boys were just throwing at me. And we were just getting it like that. And long story short, it kind of opened the realm to like doing like acid, cocaine, shrooms, lean, Xanax, all that stuff. And I knew I was like, something going on, like this drug stuff different. And long story short, I had an encounter bro, with God. Like probably like a week after that. And my mom was a Christian, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't believe that God was real. Like you could not tell me God was real. The reason I'm, t I'm talking to you like this, because you're also a leader. You know what I'm saying? People have told you that before. You feel me? But we can easily get entangled with this with this world. You know what I'm saying? Like money, drugs, girls, like easily just, and we're there. And it's kind of easy to stay there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, as I speak to you right now, God is speaking to you. That's real. That's real, bro. For real. Can I do a quick prayer with you, bro? Yeah. Yeah? You ever had any encounter with God before? Are you open to that? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Can I pray that the Lord encounters you right now? Okay, I'm going to pray. Tell me your name one more time. Jacob. Jacob. I'm from the Bible. Holy Spirit, I pray right now that you touch him. More. Touch him more, Lord. More. 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 Let him know that it's you. It's not man. In Jesus' name. Can you hear me? Did you feel anything as I was praying for you? Yeah, I got a shiver down my spine, bro. Yeah, the Spirit of God is real, bro. He's real. I didn't even want to touch you. I didn't even touch you just now. He's real, bro. I promise you, he pulled me out of the pit, bro. I, I was in the right. pit, bro. And no one could tell me God was real. I, someone could have came out of me and did exactly what I just did, and I wouldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? But it, it led me to go somewhere I didn't want to, I didn't really want to go, bro. And I see you right now. You used to play sports. You used to play sports. You were raw, low key. Yeah. That, that that skill is really what your soul is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Lord has given you something special that doesn't just translate just to sports. You know what I'm saying? It translates also to the real world. That's why you see NFL players being successful business players. 
business uh, people, you see NBA players become successful, not because they were good at basketball or because they were good at sports, it's because that same talent, that same grace that got them successful in sports is actually meant for the world as well. It's meant to impart into people as well. You know what I'm saying? The Lord touched you with that, bro. He's real, bro. I promise you. I'm praying with them. Heavenly Father, you, you, have you ever given your life to Jesus? Would you like to? Amen. I feel the Holy Spirit right now, bro. Praise God. Say this, bro. Say Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For revealing yourself. For revealing yourself. You know I need you. You know I need you. You know how much I need you. You know how much I need you. Save me. Save me. Forgive me. Forgive me. And change my life. And change my life. I want to live for you. I want to live for you. I can't do this. I can't do this. Without you. Without you. So save me. So save me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's real, bro. Welcome to the kingdom, bro. Thank you, bro, bro. Welcome to the kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom. All right, bro. Be blessed, bro. And I, I'll pray one more thing I'm done. I know a bunch of prayer. No, nah, you're good. Father, I thank you for Jacob, and I thank you for this man of God and his life being handed over to you. Right now, in Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, that you fill him with your Holy Spirit. Lord, and every chain from his family, any chains from his family. I don't know why I feel family so bad, right? Yeah. The entanglements of your family, bro. I break them off you right now in Jesus' name. The entanglements of the chains of your family. How is your relationship with your father? Not good, not good. Right now, I pray restoration and the wounds of the father to be, to be healed right now. Father, continue to reveal the things of his heart to you, Lord, that he may also see them and that healing may come. From this day forward, the Lord walks with you, bro. As a father, the father you never had, let him teach you, let him show you. And when the Holy Spirit begins to speak to your heart, listen. Does that make sense? It's like me telling you don't go that way and you go and then you're like, okay, that's what man, that was. Man. He loves you, bro, and he's patient. So don't feel like he's gonna leave you if you mess up. Man. He loves you, bro. That's real, bro. I appreciate that. God bless you, bro. I'm done. Jacob. God bless you, bro. You need prayer for anything? <laughs> you sure? All right. Thank you, bro. God, God bless you. Was that good? He just gave his life to the Lord. Uh, uh, gave his life to the Lord. He just gave his life yes. to the Lord. Yes. Got encountered, asked the Lord to encounter him. He felt chills go through his spine. Come on. And yeah, the Lord's good. He just got one for the kingdom. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus The mighty name. The mighty name. The mighty name. So, as a man of God, as somebody who's been spent with authority, you must listen. Biblically, you have to line up. He gives me power to trample on serpents and scorpions. I've been sent for this moment to set her free. So I command you, by the power of Jesus Christ, make your way out of the life. And as you come out, you let her whole family go too. Now, if you be, no. a, if you be a demon, you have no right to stay. Come on out. No. Come on out. I got her brother too. Listen. I got them all. They're all alone. No, 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 no. I have nobody. No, 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 no. Make sure she has nobody either. But now it comes to an end. No, 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 all that witchcraft. Break. Every witchcraft spill. Break. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Be broken completely. Be broken completely. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Do you want some prayer? you want me to pray for you? Like bless you or whatever? I would never turn it down. Okay, you can pray because I just mentioned it. I just want to bless you, okay? Lord, I thank you for the mantle to win souls. It's a big, big mantle on your life. There is a huge soul winning call on you. And it's for young people too. I see it. I heard the Lord say, you're going to mother many. You're going to mother many. You're going to have so many spiritual children. There's so many souls that have been counted to you. And I feel like the Lord wants me to also let you know it's just not a local thing. It's a global thing. So Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you that her, the call is bigger than she could imagine. I thank you right now, Father for anointing her for such a time as this and giving her exactly what she has prayed for. In Jesus' name, I bless you with souls. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Souls are the goal. Souls are the goal.
for such a time as this. I'm on with my friend. Amen. <laughs> So, Apostle Daniel Adams, how did evangelizing in Daytona Beach go? Let's get a little recap. You know, we had a, a little bit of a slow start as usual. Of course. And then by the end of the night, fireworks! But here's the thing, on all ends. Amen. Like, I know this man's chopping up footage. Oh, amen. Even as we speak, in he's, he's scrubbing it right now. He's scrubbing. Like, he's watching this right now? And he's literally scrubbing what he's watching. Oh, yeah. Squeaky clean. And he's editing. Editing all day. Like, Isaiah's editing right now. He's editing right now. But We're only there in the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Tonight was amazing, man. And it's always amazing. A lot of good Holy Spirit encounters. A lot of awesome things happening right here on the pavement in Daytona Beach on the boardwalk. Amen. And this is the second time we were out here. Yes. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of my Crane's Roost days that we'll have to go visit one day. Yes, we have to. In Altamont. But this is what we did, man. You know, you never forget where God brought you from. Amen. It's full circle moment right now. Full circle. Full circle. Been doing, been doing this for a minute. Since minute. 2011? 2013? 2013. Full time. All, all in. Over 10 years. Man, God got wisdom. Yeah, actually. Experience. A little bit longer than that now. Man, I got, I got experience. Just out here doing my thing, you know? So, so, so real, real quick, yo, <laughs> shout out to Keegs. This man came from Indiana to Florida. He's a Florida boy. And he's a Florida boy now. That's why he got the ice on him, Keegan Ice. Shout out to glory, the family. Glory to Jesus. Shout out to the family in Columbia. We got matching ice. Amen. Woman of God Nat came up and showed out. You already know what's up. Woman of God, you got some quick words? All right, that's good. So then, no, 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 no. <laughs> Tom, Tom. Nat, will do, Nat will do. Oh, he's so mean. Oh. What's happening? What's happening? We saw the. We saw the cat. It's in her womb. Stand up. Stand up. Look at me in my eyes. I want to speak to that seducing spirit right now the seductress that hides in her life, that won't allow her to love, that has caused her trauma. Expose yourself, I know you're in there. Come up. Stop hiding. You've been there since you was little. I want you to come up. Ah, don't fall, I wanna to speak to you. I know you're in there. You're causing her to block her heart. You won't allow her to be the woman of God she's called to be. You brought depression upon her life, yeah, yeah. I see suicide attempts were even tried because of you. Yeah, there you are. Now listen, you seducing serpent. You don't get to have her anymore. You're not going to keep her quiet. I have come to sabotage everything you've tried to do to her life. Everything that you've tried to destroy in her life. I, stand up. Everything you've tried to do to her life. Everything you've tried to sabotage. How you have made her go just be asleep throughout most of her life from being able to go into spirit how you tried to put her in second place you've not allowed her to be the woman of god she's called to be and i saw the prophetic mantle that is upon her life i saw the evangelistic mantle that is upon her life you cannot stop her from winning souls now you seducing unclean perverse spirit you listen to me now your time in her life is up I'm sent here today. There's by no chance she's ran into me twice. I'm sent here to set this woman free so she can have her life back. She can have her destiny back. I command you by the power and authority of Jesus Christ. You will leave her life. You will not stay in her. You came in as a breath. You will leave as a breath. And you will, sh you will let her know that you are exiting her body so her emotions can be returned. Her love can be returned. And she can experience who she's called to be. Now come out of her body. Come out of her body. All the way. Now, 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 yeah, come on, exit her life, exit her life. Now, I command everything to come out of her womb now, come out of her womb. Yep, come out from in there, come out from in there. That's right, come out. I'm going to say something, I command it to come out of every sexual organ right now, leave her body. You come out of the sexual organs now, leave her body, leave her body. 
Leave her body. You've traumatized her in those areas. I command you to come out of her now. Come out of her. I command forgiveness of sins. Jesus says that if we forgive others of their sins, that we have the power to forgive, to bring forgiveness of sins. Your sins are forgiven. The Lord Jesus has forgiven your sins. You are blood bought. You are forgiven of sin. You need to accept that. Receive the forgiveness of sins right now so that the Spirit can leave your life and stop hiding. In Jesus' name. And the Lord is telling me to tell you you're not too old. Get that out of your head too. Now come out of her life. It's a lying spirit. No, you're lying to her. She is not too old. She is not too old. Her life is not over. She has not wasted time. She is not wasted. Yeah, come on. Come on. In the mighty name of Jesus, come out of her life. Every chain be broken. Every emotional thing that's been held up be broken. Every word curse that's been spoken over you, I break its power now in the mighty name of Jesus. Being abandoned, every spirit of abandonment that come against you. Yeah, come on out of her. Every one of them. All of it. All of it. Yeah, come on. Come on. All the abandonment and rejection she's faced. I break its power now. I break its power now. Come out of her. Mighty name of Jesus. All the way. Lord, I pray you comfort that little girl that never got to grow up and be who she was supposed to be. I pray you bring comfort to that trauma that she received when she was young. Right now, I see the Lord comforting you in the form of a little girl. He's bringing comfort to areas that were broken, that were traumatized. I see by the Spirit Him holding you, keeping you close. Lord, I thank you for breaking it off over now. I break you free right now. In Jesus' name. And I blow you. In Jesus' name. Receive it. Receive your breakthrough. Receive grace. Receive grace. Receive your freedom, girl. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come out. Come out. You're exposed now. You're exposed. You serpent. You serpent. Yeah. You witchcraft spirit. You serpent. You're exposed. Come out of her body. Come out of her body. Yeah, you got exposed this time. Now come out of her body. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Make your way all the way out of her. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire on her body. Yes. Fire on her body. Make your way out of her body. Right now. Every perverse seducing spirit. Make your way out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The anger. The hidden anger. The hidden rage. I command it to be broken from her life now. Yeah. All the way. All the way. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Also, every spirit that came through drug use that is lingering inside of her. Yes, every spirit that was lingering from drug use. I break your power. Every spirit of sorcery and divination. Every spirit of sorcery and divination come out of her life. Come on. Come on. I caught Yeah, you're not that strong. I caught you. You lie to her and you make her think you're strong. The Holy Spirit has spoke to me. You must leave. I've exposed you. Come out of her life. Yep, yep. Let it out. There you go. There you go. Cough it out. In Jesus' name. All the way. All the way. All the way. You okay? Okay? Yeah. You're not involved in any fellowship? No? You should become a part of what we do. Yes. So we can get you disciples. You need discipleship too. And I would like a two for myself. And to pull the gift out, you need to hear the Holy Spirit. You've been hearing the voice of, of divination for too long. Lying, twisting stuff. Think about that. You know how to do that? You go to the website. <laughs> I got his numbers. So. I, I takes it in. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll get it figured yeah, out. I, I think a good connection of community will help her. People that have come out of similar stuff, I think it'll be really good. Hey, the offering's there. To, 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 to be a part of fellowship. Stop focusing on all your problems and issues and, and, and start helping other people walk things through and all this stuff will fall off of you and stuff. You're living in a world this big. That's your world. You need to get out of this. You need to see your value. I think value will change some stuff. Let me pray this over you. Father, I thank you right now for filling her with the Holy Spirit. Every door that these demons have come out of, I command it to be closed. I command a fresh and filling of the Holy Ghost and fire. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Amen. Well, thank you, Daniel. Love you, man. I appreciate it, man. Well, you got his number, so now we'll be connected.
you know, every shipwrecking spirit, every destiny stealing spirit, any spirit coming against him, I rebuke you in Jesus' name, out of his life, hands off his life. I break the back of retaliation. Jezebel, don't touch him. Father, I thank you for the call of God on this man's life. I bless him. I bless my brother. I bless this open heart in Jesus' name. His childlike faith. Just give him a new heart right now in Jesus' name. No more stony heart. A heart of flesh in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And I just bless my brother. You sit there as long as you need to. Holy Spirit's going to continue to minister to you, buddy. How you doing, buddy? Has that ever happened to you before? <laughs> you want to get up here and lie there. You can do whatever you want to, man. You get up. Thank you, man. What's your experience? Tell me about it. The life. Brand new. Yeah. A lot left you just now. Yeah. Those negative things, those are demons. And they bow to Jesus. And you have that call of Jesus on your life. Okay. So as you freely receive, you freely give. So you receive breakthrough, you receive freedom, you can give it away now. All he asks is that we walk with him. We turn. He says the kingdom of God is near. Walk with him. He says, follow me. That's what he said to all the, uh, the apostles. He said, just follow me. So you got to worry about the past, everything that's happened. Just follow me now. Can I pray for you one more time? Holy Spirit, would you just... Surround this man with your love at every turn, every facet of his life in Jesus' name. Thank you for Javion, Lord. Bless my brother. In Jesus' name. All right, bro. You just seal it all with the blood of Jesus. But you, know, you know what the key to getting rid of those living, call them negative, they're demons, the demonic stuff? Your weapons of warfare are not carnal. It talks about that in Ephesians 6. But they're supernatural. They're spiritual weapons God's given you. The blood of Jesus. He paid for that willingly for you. you the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, worship. Just turning your heart in a moment. Just to turn your affections towards heaven. Be like, Jesus, I need you right now. Come. Holy Spirit, come. As simple as that, everything will shift. Just cover me, Lord. He's a good father, man. Very powerful, too. Super powerful. You're going to see that, man. Seriously, there's something about how old are you? 21. 21, dude, there's something about, there's something about your generation. Once you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you guys are like lightning bolts. You guys are like the thunder and lightning of God. It's awesome. God's going to move powerfully. If you want him to, he's going to move so powerfully in your life. Please remember this. It's not about what he's willing to give. It's how much you want of him. That's all it is. And you just willingly yield to him. It's how much you can take. not about to take. It's more about how much you want of him. He can enlarge your capacity. He can give you more and the ability to carry more. Just love him. It's crazy. You gotta be our first love. That's where it all pours out. You're a, you're a son of God now. It all comes out of sonship. That's all you have to do. Yes, the evangelistic call is there, but all you have to do is you'll be a son. You're gonna you understand this already, and it's gonna just continue to build. That's all I want. That, that's the anointing. That's that's grace of God on your life. I give you a hug. Take on. Bless you, bro. Take care, buddy. Love you, my brother. Dude, yeah. Hey, I'm going to give you a business card. Call me if you ever need anything. All right. If you ever need anything, man, you want to grab some lunch, let's talk about Jesus, talk about life, let me know. Seriously, shoot me a text tonight. I'll have your number. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll link up, man. I'll call that. Bro, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Bro. This is Isaiah. That's Remy. That's so bless you, bro. Bless you, bro. So we all bless you. Bless you. I was looking to the same church, right? Yeah. yeah, we're all part of a ministry. That guy started over there. That's Daniel. Daniel, this is Javion. How you doing, man? Doing pretty good. God man. bless you, bro. God yeah, bless yeah. you, too. Me, too, man. I don't know. I might have to come to y'all church. Just see what y'all church be like. 100%. Love you, bro. Love nice you, too, to my boy. You, man. Nice to meet you, too. Me too, man. I got your car. Yeah. Amen. Oh, man, you ever need anything? Yeah, let me know. Nice hey, to meet you, buddy. Have a good night, bro. Take care, bro. Take care, Jamie. That's good. <laughs> What's he was on the ground. He was on the ground, bro. He was. <laughs> put him out, huh? Yeah. Smackdown. Yeah. He was so open, too. He came up, and I was like, have you ever seen a demon cast that? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. Well, you want that? And he was like, I want a cleansing of negative energies. And I was like, I think you know what that is. It's more than that. It's demons. And he was super open. So he, he took the opening and ran with it. Dude, he was so open. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Listen, 
We out here putting in work. I'm out here with my boy Kurt. That ain't even his name. But it did rhyme. And that's not a crime. Because I'm over here saying, Lord, forgive me for calling him Kurt. It ain't going to hurt when Kurt is putting in work. <laughs> that's not even Kurt. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we had... <laughs> We had a good time. You're famous now. now. Everybody's calling you Kurt, and you're yeah, not even Kurt. Kurt. It's Kurt. No, no, it's not Kurt. <laughs> what if you show up somewhere? I saw you in the video. Kurt. <laughs> Jesus be glorified. Yeah. His name has been changed. Let's play. Look, guys, remember, subscribe, hit the like button, share, because that's what we do. We share because you care. Amen. And we make others aware. Ah, the free stoke, freestyle game is deep. Amen. Hey, guys, I love you much. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning into all these vlogs, seeing all that the Holy Spirit is doing. I got a wonderful team of people around here. Uh, we, roll, we roll heavy. We roll heavy. Heavy glory. And you know the story. Hallelujah. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all I got, man. I'm going to get out of here, get some food. Don't be rude because I ain't got no attitude. All right, I'm done. I'm done, Remy. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> All right, guys, look, look, look. We out. Daytona Beach vlog number two. Done. Finished for now. I'll see you soon. Let's go. In Jesus' name.